eight gorgeous Queen West properties you can buy right now. Hello friends, Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto Real Estate Agent Mortgage Broker with Search Realty and Search Mortgage. And today we're going to look at eight just beautiful properties you can buy Queen West right now. Uh, before we start, I want to remind you that condocorona.com have your 30-day condo supply list in case you need to stay home for 14 days or whatever days. Just come to this site, condocorona.com, is flip to the uh, landing site and just hit the download PDF to get your list. It's just going to take you to a Dropbox. You can choose between a PDF and a spreadsheet. There it is. It's anonymous. Over a thousand people visited that site. I don't know who they are. I don't know how many downloads. I just know the number of people hitting the site. Uh, the reason is, is to give you complete privacy, download your list, and get ready. Thank you, and good luck on that. Um, Yossi Kaplan here, youtube.com slash Yossi Kaplan. All the information about Toronto real estate and a little bit of coronavirus these days, but we still focus on real estate. People still need a place to live. This situation uh, is very, very severe and dangerous, but it will pass. We'll learn how to deal with it and we'll win. So, positive morning. YossiKaplan.com, Investor Insider. If you want to get your information, it's right here. Lots of information about investing and doing stuff. Uh, Toronto, UrbanRealtyToronto.com, my main site, with so much information when you go to the bottom. Uh, each of these links here is direct link to listing. So, I just hit the, I went fast, but I just hit the Queen West. And it opens the Queen West search already ready for you. And then you can start playing with it right now. That is the property we're looking at right now. That's the first one. That's 24 Noble Street. I remember this building used to be, uh, all the artist friends used to be lived there before it turned into condos. And then somebody bought it, fixed it up, and turned it into absolutely beautiful, beautiful condos. Look at this space. Uh, 679. Gorgeous, gorgeous space. Old building. It's all wood. It's absolutely beautiful. I used to live in a loft like that many, many years ago. It wasn't that beautiful, but it was a good loft. Uh, those are just very warm and very fun living in there, and it's just a very positive environment. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Nice kitchen, too. Beautiful reno. You can see the floors would be used, but that, that's part of the charm, I think, of, of spaces like that. And, and they left a bit of the old industrial stuff there. So there you go. There you go. Here's a bedroom with this barn sliding doors. I would love to live in a place like that. So warm and nice. Okay, that's the building, 24 Noble. That area of Noble is really becoming the West West Queen West. So nice to live there. Absolutely lovely. Brock is coming up with 57 Brock. I've talked about it. It's all good. Um, now I'm going to Toronto Condo, CondosForSale.com, which is my listing site. And if you want to see new construction, you hit up projects in Toronto and it'll give you uh, pre-construction. But if you want to see the residential, go to the menu, go to listings, go to residential search. And here we just, we can put a neighborhood, West, Queen West. Just got to spell it properly. And it'll, it'll, it'll complete the address for you. Property type, just a condo please. And the listing titles only those for sale. And I'm going to search. It's going to take me to a pre-made search, and I can just go from there. Okay, so here's what we're doing. And then from here, I'll just zoom out a little bit to get some more red dots. Now, these are the train tracks. I'm going to look everything north of the train tracks and not below, which is Liberty Village and then the King West continuation. I'm just going to focus north of it in a triangle area here. Okay, let's start from the corner here. Uh, what you see here is Minoa Mikin. That is the... Carnaby Lofts on Gladstone there. Okay, so there's 20, that's a cluster of new buildings by Streetcar. They basically, they just bought the uh, the Gladstone Hotel I saw, which is really cool because these guys are, I think they're very good. They're gonna preserve the Gladstone very nicely. Look at this unit here, unit 716, offered a 750, two bath, two bath. That's not a bad price actually because uh, about a year ago, I was in a bidding war by one of these and ended up selling for close to 720. Um, now, all these numbers, obviously, asking numbers, you may get a little less, you may get a little more, uh, but these are some of the very, very good units that Carnaby offering you. And those units are very good. They're very good layout. They're efficient. You got everything you need. If you need a two bedroom, that's a very, very good option. And the location is Queen and Gladstone. Two bath, two bath, nine foot ceilings. Someone's getting a uh, coffee. <laughs> All right, so that's the one. You can close here. 
There's a few other units in that building, so that's unit number two. Uh, and it'll show you here the unit number, the address, and there'll be a little symbol if the price was changed. That's the one I just showed you, okay? And it's, it's sorted by price. You see lowest to highest. So here's another unit, 927, asking 6999. Now some of these units may want offers at a certain date, trying to encourage a bid, a bidding war. Some of them not. If you ask me, I'll give you all the details. That's all the pictures provided with this unit. Okay, uh, we're gonna move down here to 441 Dover Court, which is a, a new building. That's where the old baker used to be. So that's just uh, coming up now. And you can see the price range for 499, at least asking 499. You can see how long it's been on the market, quite a while now. Uh, and then it jumps to 1.19 million for these large units, 1.20, 1.4, 1.4, 1.7. So <clears throat> this is with a 417 private terrace. So that's that's the reason for the high asking price. Obviously, these are just uh, renders, but I'll give you an idea. If you want more information about this building, let me know. Just uh, contact me. One of the many ways you can contact me, and I'll give you more information. But that is oh, I lost my mark there. There you go. And uh, if you want to see the 499, it's a studio. I believe there's a floor plan at the back there. There you go. So that looks to me something like a 400 square foot studio. Obviously, studios are facing west. Studios, as you know, they sell for a very high dollar per foot. And the larger the unit, the lower the dollar per foot. That's how it's working. Uh, because you can charge half a million dollars for a small unit, but, you know, dollar per foot if this unit was four times as, as large you're not going to charge two million for it. you're going to charge way less the dollar per foot decreases as the size of the unit increases you can see here this unit is available on the fourth and the fifth floor this one is on the fourth but it says 406 and the asking is 499 okay um, moving on here we got the good old 36 lisgar now lisgar is a unique building um, there's a lot of small units. This building had a bit of a rough start. There's some uh, legal issues there with the developer, had some issues and all that stuff. But overall, the building is running well. Uh, it's still got a very good deal. If you're looking for a good investment, some of these units here, they're compact two bedrooms, which are very good for investing. Uh, now, they may not look like much to you, but in reality, these units can make a lot of money if you're looking for some uh, income because they're cheap to buy. So if you buy a two bedroom for less, you can use, that's the floor plan, it's a good floor plan. It's two separate bedroom that allowing for two roommates, a uh, young family and a baby, or a person in an office, you know, brother and a sister, whatever it is. Two people using the two rooms separately and each have their own bathroom. The kitchen is L-shaped, has a very, very efficient uh, design. These are about 615 to 650 square feet. The property tax is very low, it's about 150 a month. And the condo fees, Uh, where are the condo fees here? I lost it for a second. If you see it, let me know. Now, some of these units have been on the market for a long time. You can see here, I had a listing here that wasn't really moving, partly because of the building itself is a bit problematic, and partly because sometimes the sellers are problematic too. That could also happen. Nonetheless, uh, Lisgar has a lot of good options, and it's something to look at, especially if, you, if you're looking at a long term. Okay, um, that's the one more unit here. Of course, so that's a two bed, one bath at Lisgar, using it 712E. These units were, so this one is vacant. It's got a little balcony. Doesn't have much in terms of a view, as you can see, uh, but it's a decent living. If you want to live on Queen West for less, that is a very, very good option. But again, you have to, uh, there's a couple of hurdles in that building you have to overcome. It's not for everyone. There's, okay, so we'll consider this as number five. <laughs> uh, Eight Dover Court, that's the, that's the uh, art studios or the art building, a 742 square feet, two plus two, asking 800,000. So that's a bit more expensive actually than the Carnaby. Uh, you can see the building, it's very, very nice. Uh, the unit's a bit narrow, but it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. And that's what you're getting for 800,000 or for whatever you can negotiate, of course. 
There's the building. Now, I absolutely love to negotiate. If you're looking to buy and you're an aggressive buyer, they love to negotiate. We should probably work together. If you're a seller and you're looking to sell you, and for the maximum price, you probably call me because you don't want me to act for the buyer. <laughs> Either case, I love working with you. Okay, a couple more. Uh, that's DNA. That's the one of the older DNAs. There's DNA 1 and 2. That's on the south side of King. Uh, this is always a very sought after building and the price is modest at uh, 598 just uh, they price is just under 600 one plus 10 maintenance is 566 it's got parking so parking will probably be at least you know 66 dollars out of that it's got a locker too so it's probably 60 to 80 dollars a month on the locker and parking and maintenance is about 500 dollars a month for this one property tax about 200 a month and the rest is your mortgage if you have any and this is what the unit looks like. It's nice. It's it's a, one of the older ones, uh, but it's one of the most preferred ones. It's a very popular building. Um, at that time, units were slightly larger because it's older, so the land was cheaper and the PSF was cheaper. So you're getting more value for your buck here. And you can see here it's facing north, and this will be west. So that's west, and that's north, because. Uh, that's King Street right here, okay? So all these units I'm showing you are, are in the same vicinity. Uh, we're still on TorontoCondensForSale.com, by the way. Um, okay, a couple more and we're done. This is really King West, and we said I'm going to show you Queen West, but I'm kind of done there, but I want to make a quick comparison. So you can see here, 20 Niagara. For 700000 you can get this nice studio here, with loft very very nice it's got one plus den in the bath it's been on the market for a week nice backsplash there I like those balcony nice kitchen that's a den it's a viable den I guess you could crash in there but it's really a den it's designed for a computer maybe a baby maybe a dog or workroom very nice bath with a bath <laughs> nice pictures too very very clean just beautiful okay that's that's facing uh, that's gonna be west condos so that's south facing Niagara beautiful nice boutique building okay my friends that's it for today that's Yossi Kaplan Yossi Kaplan.com urban realty Toronto.com search realty if you're looking to buy or sell a condo a loft King West Queen West Toronto if you're investing in pre-construction talk to me call me even if you have an agent, even if you already bought, I get a lot of people call and ask me, hey, should I still buy this? I made a deal, should I Should I send it back? Ask me first, that'll be better, <laughs> but I'll help you anyways. Okay, my friends, that's it for today. Stay well, stay healthy. Remember, if you need the list, it's available at condocorona.com, and you can download the list here, and that's it, take care.